Gynacare. Dedicated to enriching the quality of life for women through innovative healthcare solutions and innovating a wide range of minimally invasive surgical options for women's health care providers and their patients. Gynacare is proud to introduce you to the Gynacare Veristat Fluid Management System for the peace of mind of unsurpassed precision in fluid distension and monitoring along with the simple setup your busy OR situations demand. The Gynacare Veristat Fluid Management System optimizes visualization. What the Gynacare Fluid Management System allows you to do is have a constant intrauterine pressure at all times. And in doing so, with a high flow system such as this, allows you to have excellent visualization throughout the case. And the ability to have clear visualization throughout the entire surgery really does allow the surgeon to focus upon their surgery itself and not on manipulating the instrument. The Gynacare Veristat Fluid Management System also minimizes the risk of fluid overload during hysteroscopic surgery. Accurate fluid management is crucial to the safe performance of hysteroscopic procedures. The Gynacare Fluid Management System uh, is monitoring the inflow, the outflow, and most importantly, the fluid deficit. So there's continuous monitoring of fluid deficit that accumulates during any hysteroscopic procedure and the gynecare system alerts the operator when uh, that deficit achieves a preset uh, level. The gynecare Veristat fluid management system has a calibrated accuracy of 99.5%, the highest accuracy rate available on the market today. It measures fluid in and fluid out and calculates the fluid deficit by using a sophisticated weight-based microprocessor system. In addition to being the most accurate on the market, the Gynacare Veristat Fluid Management System is the only fluid management system with a specific accuracy claim. The average operative hysteroscopy case utilizes anywhere from 6 to 15 liters of fluid throughout the course of that case. If we estimate that manual calculations have an inherent 10% error, then we have the possibility of anywhere from 600 cc's to 1500 cc's of fluid deficit that may go unrecognized if we're relying on manual calculations. On the other hand, the Gynacare fluid management system is accurate within plus or minus one half of one percent, and therefore the amount of error that we can calculate is fairly insignificant. This gives us a tremendous amount of peace of mind because it enables us to know that what we're seeing as the fluid deficit on the readout is in fact the real fluid deficit. The Gynacare Veristat fluid management system is designed for ease of setup and use. For your convenience, a quick reference guide on top of the control panel can direct you through the setup and operation of the device. Here is an overview of the system. Upper bar. Fluid bags hang on each of the hooks, one bag per hook, up to four bags if desired. Controller. The real-time display indicates fluid in, out, and deficit. This is pre-programmed by the OR staff with fluid type and alarm level. Pump. The pump regulates pressure and flow to maintain constant, accurate interuterine pressure. The system display indicates fluid flow rate and patient pressure. Canisters. Outflow is collected using up to four canisters, which are hung from the lower hooks. The Gynacare Veristat fluid management system is easy to set up and to operate. There are just a few preoperative steps which require only a short amount of time. The outflow canisters collect all return fluid from the patient while the liners contain the fluid for easy disposal. The high volume canisters accommodate up to eight liters each. This high volume minimizes nursing time spent changing or replacing outflow canisters during the procedure. Outflow canister setup should be completed near the operating site, but outside the sterile field. First, remove the canister lid by flipping the four snap catches. Prepare the liner bag by lifting the two barbed fittings into a vertical position. Pull on the Pull Here tab at the bottom of the liner bag to extend the liner. 
Align the two barbed fittings of the liner with the two holes on the canister lid. Squeeze together until the liner snaps securely into the lid. Place the canister lid and liner combination into the canister and snap the four latches closed. Hang the canister from one of the hooks under the unit. Repeat with the remaining canisters, one canister per hook. After the canisters are lined and hung, complete the vacuum connections for outflow fluid collection. Connect the wall vacuum and power cord to the varistat using the appropriate connections on the rear panel. The opposite end of the vacuum tubing is then connected to your OR wall vacuum source. Connect the stat vac vacuum tubing from the left rear canister to the instrument vacuum port on the side of the control panel. Depending on the expected fluid output, you may want to connect the fluid out containers. Use the stat link tubing if you want to daisy chain canisters together. The surgical instrument outflow tubing should be connected to the last canister in the chain. The system also collects outflow from the patient under buttock drape. Connect the stat back tubing from the left front canister to the drape vacuum port. Then secure the drape outflow line to the left front canister. The drape canister may also be daisy chained to other canisters. The system gives you the flexibility to connect any configuration of outflow and drape canisters. After the canisters are set up, connections into the sterile field can be made. The Gynacare stage in tubing kit must be opened in the sterile field. Begin by twisting the lure end of the patient pressure sensor onto the lure end of the Y connector. Next, the patient end of the stage in tubing is attached to the Y connector. Then the bottom of the Y connector is attached to the inflow port on the hysteroscope. Finally, the stage out tubing is connected to the outflow port on the hysteroscope. Once all sterile connections are made, the inflow pump cartridge and attached inflow spikes, outflow tubing, and patient pressure sensor are passed out of the sterile field for connection to the fluid management system. Load the pump cartridge into the port on the side of the machine. While holding the cartridge firmly in place, turn the knob to lock into position. The pump light will go out if the cartridge is positioned correctly. Next, connect the patient pressure sensor cable. Plug the white connector that looks like a telephone jack into the patient pressure jack port located under the front edge of the control panel. The red light above the port will go out when the sensor is inserted and seated correctly. To ensure proper functioning, be sure to keep the patient sensor port dry. The patient pressure sensor measures the average inflow pressure to within one millimeter of mercury. The pump controls the average pressure within two millimeters of mercury of the pre-selected target pressure. The intrauterine pressure is always less than the displayed pressure and decreases progressively from the normal set point with increasing rates of fluid flow. Connect the stage out tubing to the canister that is connected to the instrument vacuum outlet. Then loop the outflow tubing up and over to the tubing strain relief and snap it into one of the slots. The tubing strain relief is located under the control panel. Drape tubing should be strain relieved as well. The tubing should not touch the bottom of the control panel. To complete inflow setup, spike and hang the fluid bags one per upper hook. To ensure the most accurate readings, it is best to spike the bag first, then hang it on the hook. Now that outflow and inflow setups are complete, the Gynacare Veristat fluid management system is ready to accept the specific settings for your case. Use the control panel on the front of the machine to complete the final setup steps for your procedure. When you turn on the Gynacare Veristat fluid management system, the control panel will indicate the readings from the previous procedure, including fluid in, fluid out, deficit, and pressure. This information will remain in memory until it is intentionally deleted.